In this video, I'm going to show you how Noah up next runs the best defense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do on YouTube is very simple. I try to help you become a better Madden player, both through tutorials on the pro players and what the meta is, and also through some of my own stuff as well. So if you're looking to get better at this game, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I want to get better, and I hope you do as well. So let's dive into today's video. So I've been getting a lot of questions about Noah up next's defense, and I really want to talk about it, but I want to also share with you um, just a couple of things about Madden in general, and in particular, really um, talk a little bit about why it is that the pros do what they do, okay? So we're going to dive right into that. Um, and real quick before we do, if you want to get the full defense that I'm going to talk about today, the link to that full ebook is in the description of this video. It's the best defense in Madden, in my opinion, and almost every pro player right now is running it in the community. By far the best, and we're going to talk about one piece of it, but the ebook shares the entire thing. And if you want a free sample, you could text me for it. My number is in the description. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go through Noah's coaching adjustments. Um, I'm pretty sure, and again, I'm not Noah, so I don't know for sure, but this is what I saw. Um, ball and air defense is on play receiver, auto alignment to default. Cornerback matchups is going to be on balance. Option defense is going to be on conservative. Tackling and strip ball are going to be on balance. And then this right here is what I saw from him. I saw him put these curl flats are about 25. Now, something that really I want to hit on real quick, if that's not working for you, if they're still be able to hit crossers and things like that, one thing you might try to do is put the curl flats on 5 and put the flats on 25. I found that the flat zones actually play really, really good in terms of the cloud flats and the hard flats. Those play really, really good when you put them at 25. So I know Skimbo plays like that. I know Joke plays like that, and some other players do as well. So 5 and 25 here, and then we've got these are going to be at 5 yards uh, underneath. So we got our zone drop set. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our audibles, and the only audible that we really need to set is we need to make sure that we have Mike Blitz 3 in our audibles for the nickel 3 through 5 wide because that's the number one play we're going to be running. From there, we're just going to set up our personnel. We're going to put our best outside linebackers, our fastest and best pass rushers at the defensive end positions. We're going to put our nose tackle here. This can be really anybody. I like Kenny Clark on the Packers, but it can be anybody you want. I recommend speed. Speed is the most important thing for that nose tackle. And then the corners, we're going to put fast corners everywhere. We want our fastest corners on the outside, but we want to make sure that we can put our safeties in at linebacker. That's the whole key to the defense. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to come out in any covers, any play we want from nickel 3 through 5 because most of the time we're going to audible down into the nickel 3 through 5 wide. Okay? So we can come out and cover 4, whatever we want. And we're just going to audible down every single time. We're going to audible to Mike Blitz 3, and we're just simply going to press coverage. And from there, all we're going to do is we're going to shift our defense to the side of the running back. And then from there, we're going to drop both of our outside linebackers in flats, hard flats, and then an optional piece of this is to put our outside corners in deep halves. These deep halves are really, really effective, and they do a great job of stopping you know, a lot of one-play touchdowns and kind of keep everything in front of you. This is pretty much it. This is Noah's base setup. Um, occasionally what he will do is he will actually just blitz three. Um, sometimes he will put the yellow on here on the other side. If you want to put the three wreck on the left side, all you got to do is bluff blitz the left of screen defensive end. Uh, I like to crash the line out just to make sure that it's really good against run, uh, against the run. But again, you just bluff blitz whoever you want. You don't have to necessarily just bluff blitz them. You see here, I could drop them into a vertical hook as well. Uh, if I wanted to, I could man them up. I could do whatever I wanted to do. But as a general rule, the play comes just like this. Okay, and we're just going to basically use her with our user, and we just want to learn exactly what they are going to be able to throw against us. Which you know, pretty much what that boils down to, as far as what routes are going to get open, are post routes. You know, really anything over the middle. That's where Noah excels, and Noah really uses this defense well um, because what he does is he basically, um, you know, is able to user lurk. And essentially, what he's going to do is he's going to user this left side middle, and then he's going to come back up here, and then basically just lurk the entire middle of the field away and so because he's got such good user he is able to get away with that so essentially what he's doing is he's running Mabel coverage on both sides of the field 
Now, the one thing that I would recommend, and another version of which he does this, is he can basically spread his line as well. He doesn't always shift them one way or the other. Uh, he will also spread his line depending on the, you know, depending on uh, what the opponent's tendencies are. But as you can see here, you know, pretty much as long as Noah um, is is leveraging his user over the middle of the field, it's very hard to score in one play on this defense. And I, in my opinion, it's very very hard to score, you know, just in general. Now the next thing that Noah is going to do in one of his favorite setups is to basically shade his coverage down and shade his coverage up, and that's going to create these cloud flats on the outside. Now, uh, what's going to happen is, and then he's going to basically keep his pressure, and essentially he's going to run down the middle, and you see you're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. And you can shift your line to the right, shift him left, spread him, anything you want to do, but this is another popular setup that he will go to um, in, such, in, in certain situations because this is going to give him really easy pressure, and he's able to keep a really good coverage defense uh, on the field. He's able to keep that cover three shell, and it looks exactly like the Mabel coverage, but this time instead of only sending two people, He's sending, um, he's sending six people. Now, in certain situations, if Noah really wants to guarantee some pressure, especially against Gun Bunch, one of the things that he will do is he will go ahead and bring these safeties kind of in, pinch them in just a little bit. But essentially, he's going to blitz that slot corner off the outside there, and he's probably going to play some type of cover too if he does something like that, something just like this right here. And as you'll be able to see, we're going to be able to get two people free uh, at the quarterback in case they block a running back or something like that. So those are some of Noah's favorite setups. And to be honest with you, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, and, and Noah ran more man or more zone coverage, I think, um, than anyone really that I know in the MCS. And I think the reason why is because of how good his user over the middle of the field really is. And because he has such a good user, if they throw at him, oftentimes it's going to be a pick and potentially a pick six. Um, but essentially what I would recommend, especially if you're playing gun bunch, one of the things that you have to understand about gun bunch is uh, gun bunch has a lot of cover three one play touchdowns so because cover three is your base uh, pass defense I would absolutely recommend making sure you have deep halves in both of your outside players I think that's absolutely critical when you're facing the gun bunch but as you can see here we can get basically everything covered uh, with with that and then we can use her over the middle of the field so that's how Noah Up Next runs the best defense in Madden 21. If you want to get my expanded version and the full defensive scheme for the nickel 3 through 5 wide, it's the best defense in the game. Literally almost every pro that I know is using this defense because of how easy it is to set up and how good it is at just basically allowing you to take care of the run, take care of the pass, send pressure, and also play good coverage defense and have the best personnel possible. So if you want to get my full 335 wide defensive ebook. The link is in the description of this video. Now, if you want to get a free sample of that defense, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 3644. I have a free sample. It's about an hour that kind of previews the ebook and lets you know what you're getting into and gives you some sample defenses that you can try out. But this defense is incredible. It's really, really hard to score on. It's really, really good. And I think Noah has definitely learned how to keep it, I mean, at a top notch level, of course. So, Great defense by Noah. Uh, we've been running this for a long time this season. This has been our go-to defense. And what I love about the 335 wide guide is it took something that I was doing that was actually probably a little bit more complicated and really simplified it down so that everyone can use it and everyone can learn exactly how to run this defense. So this defense is amazing. If you haven't picked up the ebook yet, I would really seriously encourage you to. It's literally only $15, which is very inexpensive for a defense of this caliber. Literally for $15, you are going to get the defense defense that almost everybody is running in the MCS circuit right now. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to pick up the ebook. If you have any questions, you can always text me and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time. Don't forget to check the description so that you can get the link to the best defense in Madden 21.